championships, it's got to feel good to say that you're the fastest man in the world. It does. It feels very good. Yeah. Even with that title, Noah Lyles is yet to be satisfied. He aims for more. He wants and is working to be greater than the world's fastest human, Usain Bolt. Even Bolt himself believes that the American sprinter has what it takes to break his world records. Although, as if you break the world record, I'm not going to be happy. World records are meant to be broken. I wish them all the best, but it's not going to be easy. As you heard, Bolt said it is not going to be easy, but he didn't say it would be impossible. He may not like it when it happens, but he does think that Lyles can produce better performances. After all, going to Paris, Noah Lyles has lofty goals. And so far, it seems that he is capable of achieving some, if not all. The six-time world championship gold medalist has been in sensational form since the beginning of the season. Ever since the indoor Grand Prix kicked off the season, Lyles has shown himself to be a formidable and hungry competitor in this Olympic year. To say that the 26-year-old sprinter has had numerous memorable performances this season would be a huge understatement. For one, Lyles clinched the first indoor title of his career at the World Athletics Indoor Championships, 2024 in Glasgow. Although he lost the gold medal to his US counterpart, Christian Coleman, he bagged the silver medal with a runtime of 6.44 seconds. Before that, Lyles clinched the gold medal in the men's 60-meter event with a runtime of 6.43 seconds at the USA Indoor Championships in Albuquerque. He also had a staggering performance in the men's 100-meter race in Devonshire during the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix, where he clocked a runtime of 9.96 seconds. Unsurprisingly, he clinched the gold medal, beating the two-time Olympic gold medalist Aaron Brown, who crossed the finish line at 10.09 seconds. Mind you, those are just some highlights of his performances so far in the season. Emphasis on some. Then, early this month, intended to break the national stadium record in the 100 meter at the Racers Grand Prix. What's the stadium record? 9.75? Let's go after that. Why not? Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. I'd love to see a PR tomorrow, he said, before adding that the times he'd been seeing in training and his races so far suggest that he will set a new personal record on Jamaican soil. Just so you know, Noah's personal best in the 100 meter is 9.83 seconds, which he did to win gold at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest last year. He wasn't, however, able to break the stadium record after he passed the finish line at 9.85 seconds. What's more, he had to settle for second place after Jamaica's Oblique Seville crossed the finish line of the men's 100-meter race in a time of 9.82 seconds. Lyles also wasn't able to set a new PB. He finished the race 0.02 seconds off his personal best, although his time was a season best. It was Lyles' first legal sub-10 clocking and his first loss over 100 meter this season. I was satisfied with the performance, but disappointed with the starter, said Lyles. Half of us were not even set when the gun went. Overall, the race was great. I came out here and ran exactly what I thought I would run, which is anywhere faster than 9.88. Some noticed that Lyles had the slowest reaction of the day during the racer's Grand Prix which is an interesting anomaly in competitive sprinting. The American champion was among the competitors who saw that the starting gun went off noticeably faster than it typically does. He said that the pistol went off practically as soon as it reached the predetermined location. This, in turn, severely impeded his reaction time and caused him to start slower than normal. I felt let down by the shooter. None of us were even set, really. To see that half of us weren't even set when the gun went off is really disheartening. A few days later, he ran his 200-meter season opener at the USATF NYC Grand Prix in New York City. In an interview before the competition, he mentioned that he was looking to take down the Icon Stadium record of 19.58 seconds that was set by Tyson Gay in 2009. Do you think he was able to? The universe definitely didn't make it easy for him, since as he lined up for competition, he faced less than ideal conditions. The first significant complaint from athletes was the starting blocks. Throughout the day, the blocks were slipping and wrongly indicating false starts. 
Additionally, some races had athletes running into almost 7 mile per hour headwinds. Lyles being Lyles, attacked the race the best way he could despite the circumstances. In the end, he won, crossing the finish line in 19.77 seconds. Although Here comes the late charge from Farnbuller, but Noah Lyles cuts the 20-second barrier into a significant headwind as well. That is a notable performance from Noah Lyles, 19.77, the fourth fastest time in the world this year. Although his time did not quite live up to his expectations, he is more than prepared to take down whoever gets in his way in the U.S. Olympic trials. Yeah, I think I said yesterday that I wanted the world lead, and I guess the wind had a disagreement there. 977, I'm like, shoot, if the wind was dead even, that would have easily been a 19... 6, 19 five race, and if the wind was with me, shoot that. For all we know, that could have been a 19 four race. Additionally, his time of 19.77 is just 0.1 seconds short of Kenny Bednarek's current world lead. It is worth noting, though, that Bednarek's world lead came with a tailwind of 1.7, while Lyles's time came with a headwind of 1.6. Anyhow, Lyles was joined by compatriot and fellow world champion Sidney McLaughlin Lavrone in the winner's circle. Sydney, who wanted an American record in the open 400 meter, got a world lead time instead. Gabby Thomas, too, powered her way to victory in the women's 200 meter, clocking a 22.42. The NYC Grand Prix marked one of the final stops for American track and field athletes ahead of the U.S. Olympic team trials in Eugene, Oregon, later this month. Track legends Justin Gatlin and Rodney Green on their Ready, Set, Go podcast on YouTube mentioned how impressed they were by Lyles' performance in New York. They both have high hopes for the Olympic trials this month and the Paris Olympics afterward. Green remarked that the American ran quicker than last year's season opener, and he was astonished that the win did not hamper the American six-time world champion as much as it did the rest of the field. He even claims that if there hadn't been such a severe headwind, Lyles might have easily run 19.5 seconds. Gatlin didn't hold back with his compliments either. He going he gonna shock some people in the next couple of two hundreds for sure. Hey, look, he gonna shock some people. Look, he already he already set it up. Like I don't know if any of his opponents have been taking notes. But the Bahamian sprinter went on to add that competitors in the two hundred meter category must step up, or Lyles will just beat them all, as he did at the USATF NYC Grand Prix as he prepares to pursue his biggest goal of his career this season. And what is that? Well, he said this before, but he said it again on The Tonight Show, hosted by Jimmy Fallon. As you may have noticed, Jimmy was taken aback by the athlete's statement, as he is aware that trying to win four Olympic gold medals in different categories is exceptional. However, Lyles confirmed that it is the goal he is pursuing this season, and he will not pass up any opportunities. He even specified that he is aiming for four specific divisions, 100, 200, 4x100 relays, and 4x400 relays. Lyles went on to use Bolt as an example. That's insane. And you got into this uh, through, through your, your, your parents? Well, both of my parents, they ran, but yeah. they were not the reason that uh, we got into it. In fact, when we were younger, they tried to get us into track, and <laughs> Before my... Paris, though, Lyles will be competing in the U.S. trials. In fact, he recently officially declared that he will be racing the 100-meter and 200-meter sprints at the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. It's been all about. Now I'm the 100-meter world champion 2023, so I, and I'm not planning on getting that title. No, I'm planning on being the Olympic champion. Just in case you needed reminding, the American is the defending world champion in both events and remains a favorite to make it to the team. Watch this to see who else plans to make the Paris team 